Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Alan Paul and we're going to be doing a uh, kind of a play on a permadeath no starter ship challenge. Uh, a lot of you are familiar with uh, a lot of the different types of scenarios we've done for this and this is going to be just slightly different. So I'm doing a recording of a what would look like a permadeath setup. No starter ship challenge, meaning that we don't go after our starter ship. We have to find another ship, uh, a crash ship, or we have to purchase one, one of the two, heading in a random direction on whatever planet we start on. Um, but we're going to take it to the center of the galaxy. It requires that we will have to find at least one glyph, and we're also obviously going to have to find a portal in order to get there. So a uh, little bit more of a challenge than normal, uh, than just finding a spaceship, getting out into space and landing at the space station. We're not having any other restrictions other than that. But the fact of the matter is it is a custom setup and we're going to be going into permadeath mode. We're going to also make everything maxed out. Everything's going to be challenging. Purchases are expensive. Scanning is going to take a little extra time to reset. Inventory stack limits are going to be harsh. They're going to be much smaller than normal. Uh, the enemy strength is going to be challenging. Uh, tutorial missions uh, we're going to disable, so we have access to all the uh, items that we need in order to get this done. That way we're not starting off with the tutorial. We, we just basically have to just move along. Uh, I'm going to set these to challenging too. Fishing timing is just really not a big deal. Uh, so no problem there. I'm not going to be doing much fishing, as you might imagine. And finally, we're going to lock the settings so that we cannot be changed. They cannot be changed. If we die, that's it. We're done. So maybe you're going to see me get killed during this. Maybe you're going to see me keep going. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. So again, that is the rules. And as we confirm and start the game, and you see the wonderful star field as it starts to appear appear uh, appear here. No, uh, uh, no relation to anything else that you might know by that name. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Again, everything's max settings, permadeath. We're not going to go after our starter ship. We have to avoid it at all costs. We have to either, either find a crash ship or we have to purchase a ship, which means gathering items, especially with the stack limits the way they are. We're going to see how this goes. So hopefully the volume is not too loud or too soft. It tends to vary just a little bit while I'm recording, but hopefully that should work out okay. And yes, no camera. So we'll see how this goes. Will it be done in one episode? Will it take multiple episodes? I guess we're going to find out. The shortest run I've ever had on a permadeath note starter ship challenge is about seven minutes. Hopefully it's not as easy as that. All right. So it looks like we're on a challenging planet. Fortunately, we're starting out with our full heat. We're not going after our ship, but we are going to head in a general direction. My first thing I always look at is where am I on the planet? I'm about the equator, so I can either go north or south, either way. I'm going to go in a northerly direction and see what we can find. We also need to find a cave, and we're going to need to find items. So here's north. Let's head in that direction. Uh, we need oxygen, so we're going to pick that up. We're going to need carbon. We're going to need all kinds of elements, and you see our heat is dropping, as the lady's going to remind us any time now as usual. We need ferrite dust, of course. We're going to gather that. And then we'll continue on. Okay. We're obviously going to need sodium, and we're going to need plants along the way. The plants on any planet you go to are very vital to your survival. We're going to take the rusted metal because we're going to probably use it later. If we don't need it, we'll end up throwing it away, but it's going to give us a ton of ferrite. And we got nanites out of that. And we should have buried technology. Buried cash is always very good. Right here. I don't see it at the moment, but I know it's right next to me. What is that? Curious deposits. We can't get it. It's useless to us. There it is. The reason why I couldn't find it is it wasn't buried. There we go. And let's get some carbon to recharge our... Mining beam, of course. Lots of carbon here, that's good. But it doesn't seem to be giving us a whole lot. Uh, condensed carbon's good. That's even better. Okay. In our analysis visor, we do... If we could find all the animals, that'll be great. It'll give us a bonus... 46 seconds I have. 
looks like there's a biological entity right in front of me. I could barely see it. Oh, there, there he is. Little tiny guy. Is that a cave? Why, yes. Yes, it is. Excellent. This will allow us to get some batteries. Let's go ahead and analyze these guys. It's giving us copper, too. Well, isn't that nice? Do we have any stalagmites? Yes. Stalactites, pardon me. Oh, I didn't have to scan. Oh, but no big deal. We got a little bit of cash for them. Let's get our cobalt. If we can get about... I don't know, two or three hundred of this, that'll be great. Twenty percent left on our beam. Now, if we come across precious metals, that'll be very handy. We can build ourselves maybe a roamer or a pilgrim or something like that. Nope, oh, that is not a stalactite. 3% left. 2%. Let's go ahead and recharge that sucker. We don't have a lot of carbon. I'm going to go ahead and use the condensed. For now. We'll keep the regular carbon in our back pocket, per se. Alright, let's see how much cobalt we have left. 192. Okay, we got a good amount of dihydrogen. 200. Okay. We don't have a lot of ferrite. But do we have enough to make a metal plate? Nope, we do not. We have to get a little bit more. And I don't see any smaller rocks in here I can get. Looks like there might be one right behind you. Let's get a little extra cobalt while we're at it. Nope, there's not a rock there. Alright, let's exit this area. And grab ourselves a rock. Like right there. Occasionally, or eventually, it'll get done. There we go. Now we can make ourselves a metal plate. It will allow us to make a portable refiner, which we need more oxygen for. Okay, let's start heading in that northerly direction and see what we can find. So, let's go after some plants, because the plants here will actually help us to uh, survive. We can recharge our life support, and they can also recharge our... Uh, shield, our hazard protection. Buried technology, well not the buried technology, but the broken machinery will have us, give us the ability to find uh, possible upgrades for our exosuit. Maybe we can get some hazard protection. That would be great. There's some broken machinery right in front of me. Where are the plants? There's a couple. What do we got? Solar vines? That will not help me at all. Curious deposits will not help at all. Fireberry will definitely help. Okay, good deal. I'm not mistaken, 5% life support. Okay. Alright, now we need regular stuff. Let's head towards the buried technology. Maybe we'll find another cave. We do have a little bit of sodium on us. Oh, 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 right there. I'm going to take a chance. There we go. Got a little extra oxygen out of those guys. Took a chance. Considering we're in permadeath. There we go. We don't quite have a hundred... Uh, ...dihydrogen yet, so I want to gather this up if I can. And we're going to use our sodium... ...to recharge a little bit of that. Okay, that'll work for now. That's a good start. Where is our machine? What do we have? Organic rocks. We want to stay away from them. We do have our first building. Let's go for the machinery. Ah, we got some sodium in front of us, too. Good. There we go. 
We will get some, some batteries going here soon. Okay. And the machinery, I think we ran right past it, is right in front of us. There it is. Follow the smoke. Thermal protection. <laughs> so we did get hazard protection, but not the hazard protection we were looking for. Uh, let's see, we do have a cave nearby. I don't know if we can get this one. And we do oh we do have a a terrain manipulator. How interesting. We do have a cave over here. And the building is this way too. There we go. Stabilizing. Okay, good deal. So we'll allow that to get going here. Let's uh, travel subterraneously to the building, shall we? While we let our shield recharge. Now, the bad portion of this is that we're not acquiring anything from the surface. Well, we did charge enough that we should be able to make it all the way up now. So I'm going to start to exit this area. There we go. And we're out. More organic rocks. More sodium. Okay, so this isn't going to help us too, too much. it has some supplies, which I don't see any that we can use. This will tell us what's around us, though. So let's take a look around. we got a building to our south. Very large building. We may want to head that direction. And it's a minor settlement. How far away? Two hours. But it could be handy. And we can head in that direction. That'll give us a, a starting point. This is another building straight up there. We have another beacon straight ahead of us. Uh, let's head in that direction. Oh, that was the wrong unit to use. Okay, back to our mining beam. We will head in this direction because... Looks like we might have the ability... To hit another building to our south. Other than the beacon. Getting a bird's eye view of things is always a good idea. There we go. Almost a full charge with that sodium. That was good. Any canisters or anything? Looks like we got some stuff here. Okay. Looks like we're going to get ourselves some good amount of ferrite out of this. And a life support gel. Excellent. Yak relic. Something to sell. But that's about it. Okay. So where was that building at? Because we should be able to see it from here. There it is. Right over there. So, uh, that's a cargo drop. Solar vine again. Fireberry. Okay, let's head on. Do a little quick scan. Make sure there's nothing out there that we can find useful. I wonder, do we have all the creatures yet? No. Flying and two underground. So there's no more ground-based creatures, so we can stop looking for them. Very hard creatures to beat. There we go. And this is the bigger building, right? And it looks like it's an abandoned building. So as soon as we're done with this building, we'll go ahead and head out. Back north. 
we'll need some carbon because we're almost out of juice for the uh, mining beam. Now the eggs are very valuable and yes it is a good idea to uh, take them out um, and to, uh, to take them in a normal setting but they don't stack enough in this type of setting and permadeath mode when you have your when you have all these restrictions it can cause problems so it just takes up room and they're not really as valuable as say buried technology Not worried about reading all this, folks. Just hopefully going to get something out of there, other than just nanites. But we got nanites. That's okay. Damage machinery. And what did it give us? More nanites. Okay. And we have some buried technology right out there, which we'll catch on the way around. Now, looks like we got another whippersnapper over here. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's an odd thing to find in here. Well, now we can make our... There we go, to hydrogen jelly. We can make ourselves a refiner while we're indoors. Okay. There we go. Okay, we do have the metal plate. We should have enough oxygen now. Let's make this. And... We have to, unfortunately, power it. We don't have a lot of condensed carbon left, but we'll go ahead and use it. There we go. We can do 150 at a time, so we'll get that moving along. All right, and we need some carbon. So let's go run outside. We're going to grab that buried technology. Should be right over here. Can we pick it up ourselves? Nope, we have to dig. There we go. Got it. Alright. Now there is supposed to be a bird flying around over here. Don't see any. Not a lot of animals floating around either. Just the usual ones that we've already discovered. Hello. So for the life support, right now, since we don't have any food that'll support it, we're going to go ahead and use our life support gel. Oh. Get that moving along. Alright, let's go look for some carbon. Some plants right here. We should analyze them because we might get oxygen out of them or something. Oh, right. Don't have much carbon to recharge it with, but we're about to have hopefully a whole lot more. That was the one that had the secondary element. Condensed carbon. Very nice. Looks like we got about 80 carbon out of it, so that is really, really good. Another 40. Good, good, good. This will hopefully get us going. They don't give us much carbon out of those, so I'm going to go after the bigger plants. And we're running out now. Plenty of carbon. We're fully charged now. Good. So let's just get some more. There we go. We're just going to keep going here for a minute. Get the rest of this carbon. There we go. All right, I think we got a good chunk out of it, don't you? Quick check, because we're near what should be caves. 
I still don't see any animals that are cave dwelling. Okay, let's go back inside. Okay, so it looks like we got a good amount of ferrite. We're going to keep going with it. Let's see what our inventory looks like right now. So I'm going to go ahead and install this, uh, even though we don't need it right now. Okay, good. We got some copper that we can convert into stuff. We have some, a lot more of that. Let me see here. Okay, looking pretty good here. All right. Let's put carbon and condensed carbon up here. I'm going to put dihydrogen over here. Things we're selling, keeping. Uh, I don't need the projectiles right now. We're going to get rid of those. We need batteries. I always like to have about 20 batteries on me. I want to use up the rest of this, so one, two, three. Good. Get rid of the rest. Life support, fully charged. We'll put this down here. We're going to about to put that into the refiner as well. There we go. That looks a little better. There we go. And this we can now recharge. And we need most of that. I don't mind having an extra stack because we're going to be using it. And I can get rid of the rest of the, of the metal that we have on us while we wait. All right, so we're going to be heading in a northerly direction again. So we're going to go back this way. And we kind of know what to expect because we've already been on some of that ground. Well, let's just take a look around and make sure there isn't something else nearby. Besides our ship that we know nothing about. Nothing to see here. Okay, we have an unknown building that direction. And that is... Due east of us. So we could leave this here. Hmm. Why don't we. That should be enough, I think, personally. Let's pick it up. We'll pick it with us. And we're going to get. We'll hold on to this for now. I don't think we're going to need it, but we'll get rid of it later if we have to. Let's head towards the building that we just found. Because uh, unknown buildings can also be crash sites. And that one happens to look like it has... Oh, that's a broken machinery along the way, so we'll go ahead and check it out. Good thing about nighttime is that you can find... Minerals, things that you need. The plants are a little more easier to find. And looks like we got another building just beyond that, so maybe we'll just keep heading east. Okay. We're looking for a hazard upgrade, hopefully for hot environments. Nope. Looks like we just got some. A photon cannon module. Fantastic. That is useless to us. We will go ahead and... Oh, you know what? It isn't completely, because if we're going to the center of the galaxy, it won't be completely useless to us. Can we pick this up? They really have nerfed that, haven't they? Because it's literally right next to the surface. Okay. There's the building we were heading towards. It's like another... Is it a beacon or... Nope. Oh, it's a trade ball. Ooh. Indeed. Okay, we got batteries. So we're in good shape. We're gonna get rid of the rusted metal now. We don't need to get any more. And we got some projectile ammunition. And we got ourselves a microprocessor. That's kind of handy. We may need that. Let's sell some stuff. 
let's see. We're gonna get rid of the rusted metal. Sell all the rest of it. There's not. They're not. They don't cost much. We're in a Gex system. I hope but we'll see. Salvage data is all gone, and we'll hang on to the microprocessor for now. What can we buy? This turns into silver, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Something to think about. Pure ferret. Okay. Let's see. Do we have access to it? We do not. We can put it down a base computer. Uh, copper. We're not going to get much. We're only going to get a little bit of chromatic metal out of it. Let's go ahead and grab at least one lemium. And we'll put it through the refiner real quick before we leave. Oh, it gives us gold. Okay, so lemium gives us gold. Maybe it was aronium. I will hang on to it. Very expensive, but could be worth it. Yep, that was it. That gets us the silver we were looking for. Okay. Alright. And we're moving on. And we should have another building. I thought we saw another building, and I think that was it, though. Okay, there's a sentinel there by that building, so we know what kind of building that is. So that's not going to help us at all. Alright. I think we should start heading north. And we'll use a battery. Two batteries, unfortunately, because we let it get too low. We have more fire berry, so we'll go ahead and grab that. Some technology in that direction. And is this north? That's north. Okay. Buried mineral. Let's head there. Buried technology. Okay, we'll head that direction. Oh, we made some money. Of course, that's what it's telling us. Congratulations, you made money. Yay. Okay, good deal. With all the smoke in this area, it'll be hard to tell where some things are, but... There it is. That's what I was looking for. What do we have here? Magnetized ferrite. We don't really need any, so I'm going to... It's nice to know it's out there, though. Vesium. We don't need Vesium. Another photon, photon cannon module. How weird. I don't usually get any upgrades. But today, apparently it likes me. Is the technology unburied? There it is. There we go. North is that direction. We will just head in that direction, I think. So the primary ingredient to this particular run is survival. Yes, we'd like to find everything out here, but we'll see. We'd love to get off the planet quicker. But we should take it easy. Try to use one of your cells before it drops below 20. More life support. And every now and then take a look around, make sure you don't you're not walking past any buildings that you need to go into. Alright. Got some technology modules straight in front of me, so let's go ahead and grab those. Oh. Might be some smaller ones that will appear as we approach. Yes, we do. Nope, that's it. Okay. Oh, there's unburied technology again. 
see what we got. More nanites. Okay, good. To the north. More curious deposits. So this is a pretty good planet for curious deposits for those who want to know. Okay. Very technology. Very technology. Keep going. That looks like buried cash, which is actually also a pretty good idea. Grab that while you can. Okay. Crystal sulfide. Wonderful. Okay. Got some good amount of sodium on us. That's good. We're almost full of sodium, so that's good. It means we won't be grabbing any more. This is a hole. Oh. Not a cave. How far away is that? 54 units. Basically right here. And looks like we don't even have to dig it up. Got a record out of it. That gives us some nanites. Okay. We're going to use sodium this time, because we let it fall too low. Oh, it looks like our first sentinel has appeared. Okay, it has been that long. Okay, north. Uh, looks like we got some buried tech right here. Go. Good. We're able to pick it up. Usually just two. Okay. Where to? What are you? Fireberry? Yes, you are. Pulpy roots. We'll have to check that out. Curious deposits. How curious. Okay. And we already got a trader landing. Right, let's go figure. We may not have enough because I'm sure this ship is a lot more. 6.7 million. If they get out. Hey, they did. And we are on a GEC system. How interesting. Alright, we're going to offer to trade. First, we're going to sell. Uh, let's see. Where are they? Salvage data. Crystal sulfide. Anything else to sell? We could sell the gold. We don't really need it. Okay. And we don't have the nanites to buy anything that you have, unfortunately. With only 333 nanites. Too bad you don't you don't uh, buy uh, items like that, unfortunately. Good to see you, my friend. I would have liked to have bought your ship. A fighter would have been very, very handy. Okay. But good to know that they will drop in on us. Ooh, there they are. Boy, if we could find those two uh, underground ones real quick. That would be great. Alright, buried tech in front of us. Let's go ahead and grab it. Oops. Always stop for the cash. Let's see what we get here. Hmm, battery. And another gek relic. Yay. Uh, we're going south. Wrong way. Buried tech and a buried mineral. We can pick that one up. Good. Oh. Life nut. There we go. Just want to make sure we don't forget it this time. Unknown building. That's where we want to go. Good that none of the creatures are going to be mean to us. Entrepreneur. We made money. Walking along the side of a mountain. Okay, it looks like another beacon. There we go. 
grab more sodium. I thought we had a lot more sodium than that. But apparently we don't have as much sodium as I thought, but that's okay. Or another sentinel shows up to spoil the fun. There we go. Okay. And we'll take this beacon. We're not going to do anything with it because we've already discovered one thing with the beacon, so it's not going to show us anything else. However... Okay, health at maximum. Good. We'll find another microprocessor. By Keen Effigy this time. How's our inventory look? Okay. This will increase our hazard protection. And life support. I think we can make a life support gel. There we go. And we'll use that in just a couple moments. As expected. There. Okay. Good deal. Whoop, more sodium. He's going to want to check things out, but... There we go. I got it all before he could find me. Ah. Look at that. A minor settlement. How awesome is that? Okay. Now if we can find ourselves a landing platform or a crash ship, either one of those would be even better. Okay, good. Uh, wait a minute. Before we go in, it should be very technology around here. Okay, got some more nanites. Oh, there it is. We will have to dig this one out because it's usually deep. There we go. Alright, let's go inside these uh, two little buildings here. Just make sure there's nothing in here that would suit us. Yeah, more nanites. Good. Didn't really use you guys earlier when that guy landed. Anything over here? Uh, no. Except it looks like hazard. Shield protection. Okay, good. All right. We already got those, right? Yes, we did. All right. Into the building we go. And there we go. Now, first things first, let's check out the cabinet. We have a little bit of money. It's a B-class. It does have a mining beam, obviously, but it also has a bolt caster with a ricochet module. So, it's actually not bad to have a decent weapon... How much does it cost? Not bad. So if we uninstall this, our terrain manipulator, we'll be in good shape. We've got plenty of silicate powder. So I'll pull that out, and then we'll buy it. Because it is definitely better in every respect, including the scanner range. Uh, we're going to exchange. We're not going to buy. All right. Good deal. We'll reinstall that. And we got more slots available, too. So that's good. Uh, let's put you over here. That boosts that. Okay, good. I'm going to recharge you with the silicate. Excellent. And we'll get rid of the rest of our silicate powder that's on our person. Ooh, good. Carbon. No, I didn't want to sit. <laughs> there we go. That was funny. Well, let's see here. We will talk to them in just a moment. Let's go ahead and get the terminal. We're going to sell our, the rest of our silicate powder. Deck relic. And the Viking effigy and the Corvax casing, along with the salvage data. That should get us right back where we were. All right, what do we got? Not much, but they do have phosphorus could come in handy if we get a shield upgrade. But then again, the planet should have phosphorus on it, so we shouldn't have to buy it. Okay. Decision made. Looks like we can't get that plant. Okay. You, sir, have upgrades. 
Not many, and I don't know if I'll be able to buy any of them, but we do have the advanced mining laser. We can buy that. We do have enough nanites. Hmm, that would have been great, wouldn't it? But have to be Gekrek 3. All right. Let's get the advanced mining laser so now we can get bigger things. Okay, and we can build that. Hopefully we have the ability to build it. Let me check. We probably need, yeah, two wiring looms, but we have the money. We need a hermetic seal and carbon nanotube. So let's go ahead and at least put it in. Hermetic seal, two carbon nanotubes. Don't think we can make a second one. Yes, we could. Okay, good. So let's get that put in. And we need two wiring looms. Let's see if our guy here has them. We do. Ooh, he only has one. Okay, well that's okay. Just checking to see what else he has. It doesn't look like he has anything I'm going to need right now. So we got one wiring loom. You know what we can do though? Let's uninstall this since we don't need it anymore. We have some dioxide that'll help our life support. And now we have two wiring looms. Excellent. Done. So now we have an advanced mining laser. Very, very good. I'm very happy with that. So this didn't turn out to be a bad visit at all. Alright, so we're going to be heading north now, right? North, that way. Looks like we got another building up there, which happens to be a landing platform? I think? My gosh, it is. It is a landing platform. What are the chances? Okay, good. Uh, what is that? Ancient data structure. Head over that way. Wish I had seen that earlier. Now, sentinels, if they notice you're picking these, will not like you for it. Let's make sure there's none in there. There was something in there. Sodium plant. Go figure. Okay, what did we get? Did we get any upgrades? No, we didn't. We just got a bunch of navigation data. Oh well, it was worth a shot. Can't sell those, but I'm going to use them later, possibly on my ship. Yep, it is a landing platform. I will be darned. Look at that. Alright, so let's get established up there. There we go. So we'll need, we know we need at least six and a half mil. Ladders are treated like flat surfaces, so you don't have to use jetpack fuel as you go up them. But don't run out when you get to the top, it'll try to walk back down again. Alright, let's check this out one more time. I don't think we have anything else to sell. Yeah, I'll just get rid of it. It's taking up space anyway. Alright. And for buying purposes, just to see what they have. Okay. We can sell the silver now, though. I think I just want to hang on to mine, because I really do think that one of these days... That was 5.7 million. Yeah. And that's an explorer class, so that's good to know. Eight. Five point seven. Okay, so we don't need as much as I thought. Sixty-three mil. Yeah, that's good. We do need copper and stuff, so we may want to gather up copper because we're going to need some. Yeah, we're going to need to make some uh, chromatic metal. Sorry about that. Just thinking aloud, trying to think and play at the same time. You know how it is. Okay. Let's head that way, and we're going to head over there to get the buried technology. We don't have enough to make a base computer. I need 30, and I don't have the materials to make a base computer here. So we'll have to make sure we don't lose our way. Fortunately, some of this is going to be close enough by we won't have to worry about it.
This looks like a pretty good deposit. Looks pretty pure. Alright, so this will give us our base computer and warp cells and things like that. So this will be good. We will have the money to buy more. That's the good part. I want to make sure we have at least like a million credits above that. So if we can get about an extra six on top of what we got right now, that would be good. Wow. Pretty good deposit. There we go. Finally reached the bottom of it. How are we doing? 56, good. 55. We're going in the smallest setting because we want to get as much copper out of this uh, deposit as possible. Okay. Let's get ourselves protected. go. Good. Make sure I don't cut out too much of the roof over my head here. I want to protect myself gonna be here for a few minutes. There we go. Looks good. There. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back and we'll put our refiner down. Actually I'm gonna put it down now. Let me do that real quick need to get some of this refining immediately. Yep, go ahead and start that up. Going. So that way when we get back, we can put the rest in there. Get that going while we go out searching for money. And while I'd love to find a crash ship, getting a ship that's in good shape is actually a little better. Okay. There we go. All right. There. Okay, so we're good there now. We just need to... Yeah, our bowcaster we have no ammunition for. <laughs> I guess we should at least have a little bit of ammunition. There we go. And that used up the rest of that barite right, that was there. So that gives us a little bit of ammunition. What's this for? Hazard protection. We'll use it so it's out of our way. We have 186 copper left. We got actually a lot of copper left. There we go. Okay, let's head back to the platform. Yeah, that works. And we're all the way up. Okay, so now we have what we need to make us a base computer. We don't really need a base. What this is for is just so we can find our way back. What a fortuitous occurrence to have a landing pad so close by. Now we just gotta get a glyph, which means finding a grave, and then... Right, we're going to put you down, too. And 
copper. Start that started back up again. And how are we doing over here? We have plenty of copper. We're in good shape there, and we just need to gather up some stuff that we can sell. Just to get a rough idea. 17 million for that shuttle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's class B class? Yeah, it's B. Okay. We did see that. Very technology. Let's head over there. 17 million for that B class as well. Oh, hello. Good. Life support power is getting a little low, as it just said. I'm going to use my dioxide for that. I'm going to keep the 30 dioxide I have just in case I need it later, but this will keep, keep me going for a while yet. Alright, very tech. Here we are. And we can pick it up. Good. How many are we getting? Two? Three? Good. Alright, we got a building over there, but a sentinel nearby, so we know what that is. We do have some damaged machinery over there, which usually means buried tech. So we're going to head that direction. We've got some buried tech over there. Okay, let's head that way. I'm gathering up this, because we're going to need it later on. We need at least... 64 of it for um, the purposes of opening up a portal. So we got to make sure we have some. we got 250, so I think we'll be okay. <laughs> but in case we also need to make a life support job for any reason, we have it. Yep, that's just a little landing spot over there. Like a campground or something. Oh, okay, yeah, it's one of those facilities. Boy, that would be worth it if I could take that out, wouldn't it? The items we could get could be worth a lot, but at the same time, maybe not so much. Uh, let's see, can we pick that up? Nope. Pick it out. Okay. Okay, so there's our building. Technology in the distance. We've got a bunch of it. Let's go ahead and head over that way. And grab it. Because that's going to be our money. Money saver right now. There we go. I don't want to mess up. Stay on the mining beam. Because if we mess up, we'll grab the wrong stuff here. Okay. Three more, good. Where to? What's that? Ancient data structures. Let's head to that. We can get some exosuit upgrades that are worth a lot of money. Or any upgrades for that matter. We got one. Good. Alright, looks like we got some buried tech right there. Got some right behind me with some broken machinery. Let's go up here and grab it. There we go. There it is right here. Is it close enough? Yes. Okay, how many we get? Two? Two. Two it is. That's fine. More nanites. How's our... Okay, inventory looks okay. Okay, we got 12 of those already. I'm going to get rid of 6 of them. And that's worth 85,000 units. This is worth 468,000. There we go. Life support's up to snuff. 
cargo drop. I'm not as interested in the cargo drops right now as I am in Berry Tech. I landed right next to a plant. That wasn't good. There, I think I got it in time. There we go. Oh, I'm literally walking over the top of rocks like that. That's pretty neat. We have the advanced mining beam, so things should go a little bit quicker. There we go. Pick it up. No, we can't. There we go. Three more. Good. There we go. More nanites. Okay, good. Let's look in this direction. More damaged machinery right in front of me. Excellent. Okay. Interesting, it's underneath a rock like that. That's pretty cool. All right. Looks like more nanites, right? Is that what I got? Okay, yes, I did. And buried tech isn't quite buried. All right. Buried cash. There we go. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. Do we have any buried cash over here? That's a cargo drop. Fire berry. Buried cash. Buried cash is actually, or cache, it's actually very uh, good to find because you can find neat things in them. Occasionally they'll carry upgrades too. Buried minerals are always good. But right now we're more after these guys. There's two things right there. That's interesting. There's both of them right there. Okay. Don't know what we got. I think we got some nanites out of that. I'll have to use two that time. This isn't really that deep. The problem is we're hitting it from a different direction. Ah, okay, because it's in the bottom of a cave, which we may not be able to get it. We did. Okay. Found out a trick. Want to get out of a cave? Fill it back in. And it will kick you back out to the surface. Okay. There was another broken machinery going over here. Let's go ahead and head over here. It's about as far away as I'd like to go. And it looks like the technology is not buried. It looks like it's above the ground. Okay, get rid of the residual goop. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Come on. Hazard protection. More nanites. Okay, how's our inventory look? We've got two spots available to us. We've got half a million or more in technology that we can sell. We got room. Silicate powder. We're going to get rid of the rest. There we go. And we can drop off our copper when we get back as well. Okay, shall we? So there's our base. See, we're pretty far away. Okay, but we're going to pick up stuff on the way. So let's head for this buried cache over there. This is where having like a roamer or a pilgrim would have came in really handy. So, is it on this side of the hill or the other side of the hill? Down 
down here. Looks like it is. Okay, another species record. More nanites. We're up to 539. Good. And let's get our life support cranked back up again. Good. 95. Excellent. And our hazard protection has dropped. Enough that we can use another one of those. So our base is over... Hold on. There. Another buried tech over there. Let's head for it. Damage machinery, of course. Oh, well, that wasn't there a second ago. Our new procedural generation. Nanites. Okay, now we look and we got three spots available. There should be buried tech right here. Can we get it? We can. Got four that time. That's great. Okay, good. So we're going to have some serious cash. We've got another damage machinery in front of us. Did, did we already grab that one? Buried tech at 379. Let's head for it. No, I don't think we grabbed this one because it's in the middle of nothing. In the middle of a rock. Can't even see it. We got nanites. Okay, that's all right. Any buried cash, huh? Good. Any buried tech, though, right? Nope, that's too far away. Should be one right here. Wait, right here? It is. It's right here. Ha <laughs> ha. Can we get it? No? Nope, oh, wrong one. There you are. All right. Get the buried cash. Usually you can pick it right up. Ooh, what's that? Vent generator is giving us indium. Ooh, sweet. It's not worth as much as it used to be. I mean, you know, 12,000 units is 12,000 units, but still. All right, we still have two spots available to us. Our base is this way, okay. Why don't we fill it out with this? There we go. One more. One more hit on a broken piece of machinery. Then we'll head straight back. There it is. Can we pick it up? Nope. Got it. And this. Got it. Inventory full. That usually means an upgrade. We got some aronium out of that one. Wait a minute. Starship launch fuel, which actually is something I'm going to need, so I'm going to hang on to it. All right, let's head straight back. Where's my base? There it is, over that way. Good. That worked out nicely. How far away? 500. Good. Good, good, good. We're doing excellent, I think, personally. We're not going to have quite enough on this run. We'll have to go out for one more run out to go get some more buried tech. Which there's actually some in the way. Let me just check. What's our inventory look like? Nine, nine, and nine. We've got nine, nine of each. Oh, there's a six. We can get three more. How much is this worth? 25,000? It's not really worth much. We should probably get rid of it. Worth more than other stuff, though. Let's keep going. It's right in front of us. Let's see if it'll at least yield us three. One. Alright, just gave us two. Alright, so we're good. So not wasted. Yeah. 
And I'll go ahead and use two. It's all right. We're in a spot now that we are going to be okay. Let's just put it that way. Those lovely ships flying around. We're in good shape, I think. It's gonna be a step counter, probably ten thousand, I'm guessing. Oh, eight thousand, finally, huh? Uh, we'll use the oxygen for it this time. Excellent. Okay. Let's sell our stores. Exosuit upgrade chart is gone. Eronium is gone. I'm tempted on not selling the Indium, but we'll see. Okay, we're up to almost 2.8 million. Because we can turn it into chromatic metal, which is actually worth quite a bit. Okay. 75 more. Let's go ahead and put the rest of our copper in. We're going to run out of uh, carbon soon if we're not careful. Okay, so we freed up a bunch of space in our suit here. Put that there. Like I said, if we turn that into what we want it to, it could be worth it for us to have more chromatic metal than it is indium. Or we can just hang on to the indium in case we need to upgrade something. You know, like put in a, a drive in our hyperdrive, you know, uh, for our ship. So, interesting ideas. Anyway. Okay. Let's take a look. Alright, so we came mostly from that direction. Let's look in this direction now. Definitely don't want to use one of these if we can avoid it. Even though that one's kind of expensive, it's not what we're looking for. There's something up there. I'm going to take a look. We're going to be heading towards this buried technology. We need about four more stacks, I think, of buried tech. Oh, that was oxygen. How much oxygen we have on us? 96? Okay, we need 200 more. Okay, we're at 100. Hold on. Yep, thank you. You interrupted our count. We can get one more plant. Whoa, really? Wow. Talk about good. I'd love to have a jetpack upgrade one of these days. You go through the jetpack so quickly. <laughs> Uh, some broken machinery up ahead. Good. Our first grouping. That should be three. Excellent. Good. Cargo drop, but we'll go more after the buried tech. So we'll go after that. Oh, well, you know, we already had it on blow up everything. Okay, there we go. Well, we got four salvage data out of that one, and some more nanites. Okay, good. All right, so what do we got over here? Uh, let's see. Got a buried mineral. Curious deposits again, which we can actually get now if we want. Buried tech to the south. What about to the north? We have one to the north. Plus the resource depot. We can hit that on the way back. Probably would be better. Okay, let's hit these ones over here. So 62, they're both about equidistant. So we're going to hit the one that looks like it's right in front of us. I 
hate when it looks like you have an extra charge in there and it really isn't. Psych, fooled you. All right, so it's on the side of the hill here. Got that one. More, four more. Okay, that's good. Good start. All right, the other one should be close by. 365, 348. Ah, there it is. 388. Okay, so we passed it. But, oh, no, nope, it's right here. Let me get this one first. More life support. Got it. How many we get out of this one? Three, four again. That's 12. That's great. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so going this way was pretty good. Because we did see some stuff over here. The plants aren't really that great. They're not worth a lot. I mean, if we could find something that would be fantastic, it'd be great. I'll go ahead and check it out. You never know. And maybe it's worth something for us. Ah, cool. There we go. Good. I don't know what uh, sentinels think of me doing this, but... Pulsating larva. Let's check it out. Cytophosphate, 66. Not really worth a lot. Uh, life support. Not bad. Okay, so what do we have? Cargo drop. There's some buried tech. More buried tech. I say we go after the buried tech. What do you think? Let's set this one first, and we're going to curl back around to the left. Whoop, that's a plant I don't want to run into. We're almost at a bad spot there. Yeah, I'm going to have to get some more batteries if I keep this up. Almost ran into another plant. What do we have here? More curious deposits? Okay. Getting a bit ridiculous with the curious deposits, don't you think? You're almost like you're trying to... Looks like there's some underground is what happened here. Yeah, that's what happened. Fascinating. We'll check it out in a moment. More nanites. Alright, so... The buried tech for this, I think, is also... Well, it is right here. What do you know? There we go. I am curious about the deposit. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. So is there a... Tunnel... Cave? No? Over there. Yep, there was a cave over here. So, what happened? Looks like there's one right here. Now, I'm going to see how much we can carry with us and how much it's worth. Because it may not be worth anything at all, and you can see how long it takes to get through one of those. We got 301. And it took up the spot of one. Not worth it. But we can turn it into nanites. I will keep one stack and one stack only, and we'll see what happens here. There we go. And then we free up some space. Okay, moving on. So what do we got over there? Ancient data structure. Curious deposits. Everything's in line with each other, so let's just head in that direction. Ah, 
I know, there's cobalt in here and I could be taking it, but I'm not going to. There we go. I grabbed the fireberry, but I decided against it at that time. One extra suit upgrade chart. What do you know? Okay. All right. So we got some buried tech up there. We got some buried tech right there and there and even there. That one's closer. Let's grab that. Two more stacks. So we got two buried. We got two exo exosuit upgrade charts. That was really good. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Just more nanites, it looks like. Okay. Where to? Wow, this one was really deep. Let's use a battery while we can. There we go. Where is the... There it is. Right, let's see here. So we got that. Now, what did I see over here? Oh, yes. And do we have any condensed carbon on us already? We do not. And it's worth it because we need it right now. I'm going to do it from a distance because if there's any sentinels down there, it'll take them a moment to find me. Good. Okay, that takes up most of our inventory, unfortunately. Uh, I think it's time to get rid of the cytophosphate. So that leaves us with an empty spot in here. So we can get a little bit more stuff. And see what we can do here. Alright, where is our base? Is that way? What do we have in the way? Let's grab that. We'll do the broken machinery first. When we head over there. There is broken machinery over here, isn't there? I thought there was. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. Once again, it's buried in the middle of a plant or a rock here. That's great. More nanites. Okay. And we'll grab this. Okay. Are we getting silicate powder? We could probably take that, recharge, and delete it. And that way we have an extra spot in here. So, that should work. Alright, that's heading to our... There we go. I want to head this way. Okay, good. That way. Actually, how far away is that? 
That's a closer one. That's pretty close too, isn't it? Ah, oh, what to choose, what to choose, what to choose. We may just have enough to buy a ship this time around, though. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, boy. What is it, 10,000 steps, I'm guessing? Yeah. But we hurt ourselves pretty bad on that uh, drop there. Check the damage machinery first. Or not, it's okay. Let's grab the buried cash. Okay. And we're going to head for this one now. Use the sodium that time, because I didn't realize I was running so low so quickly. That could have hurt pretty bad. Alright, we've got buried cash. Let's do that one first. So we can clear it out. Give us more nanites. More technology. What are we up to? Almost four full stacks, so we're in good shape. Uh, our base is over this way. We don't really have much in the way on the way so love to get that I think that would be a good idea do we have any fire berries no we do not let's use some oxygen we need the oxygen that's the problem so let's use the dioxide we'll be able to get dioxide later on but I need the oxygen in order to create warp cells and stuff like that, so. Ow. Keep breaking my ankle here. Okay, good. Got three of them. I don't think there's anything else on the way. I lied. Apparently is. I don't think we have any more room except for the very technology itself. Let's see. Ah, unbelievable. Okay, let's check our inventory out. Alright, let's pick this up. Okay, we can get those. So we'll get two of them? Okay, good. There. Alright, do we have anything in here we can just get rid of? I think we're going to get rid of the multi-microprocessor just in case this happens to have an upgrade in it. Nope, more nanites. Okay, well, it's worth a shot. Okay, and again, there shouldn't be anything on the way. There's stuff to my right, but I'm not going to, I'm going to ignore it this time. Let's head back to the outpost, the landing pad, and maybe we'll have enough money to buy a ship finally. Not bad. Oops. Yep, ran out of run juice. Can't get the good thrust jump out of it when that happens. Five hundred. Again. A little extra on the sodium there. Excellent. It's like we're almost where we need to be here. Question is, how damaged are we going to be if we make a jump to the landing platform? Ah, we made it. Ha ha ha. Hey, while we're here, we'll just sell to this guy. Alright, let's see what we got. Uh... There we go. 40 of those. That's another 2 mil. That gets us 4.8. Let's get rid of the upgrades. 
think that is all I want to get rid of here. So we're at 5 million. So we do have to make one more run. We need at least 2 million more. Alright. That makes us at the 150. First things first, let's put you in here. That gives us only 30 nanites, but it's something. Alright, what else we got? Oh, we'll get 60 out of it because of that. Two hundred and eleven chromatic metal. Very good. We're at five million units. That is really, really nice. Let me check to see if we can get Actually, if we can make a couple life support gels, that would work. Two ought to do it. There we go. Good. Okay, so 30 nanites done. Let's get the other 150 in here. And then that's complete. And we don't have to worry about that in our inventory anymore. Put our condensed carbon up above. Let's see, what else can we do? Really debating what to do with this, whether we should turn it into chromatic metal or not. So again, we're going to take a look around. The haulers are going to be the most expensive ships. But I don't see anything else having landed right now, so we'll have to wait. But the explorer class would be best for us for what we want to do. Okay, 30 more nanites. Let's see what the indium will do for us. Okay, it doubles our chromatic metal. That's handy. Let's do that. And it's not going to take long at all. Look at that. Good. Get the rest. Excellent. Let's put the copper in. So we've got a good amount of chromatic metal. We're really happy now. Okay, and how much do we have left in our inventory? 36, good. We got tons of chromatic metal. That'll be great. And that should be good. Alright, let's head on out. Uh, I think this direction will be the best direction to go in. Fighters aren't bad. If we can get ourselves a fighter, that'll be fine too. But these shuttles are going to be the bane of our existence if we get one. Yeah, C-Class over there is 8 mil. I really would rather have an Explorer class. So I think that's what will do us best. Anyway, let's move out this way. Looks like we already got some buried tech in that direction. Off we go. So, two stacks is a million. Four stacks would be what we're looking for. Or something worth a lot more than that. If we can find it. Archive would have been great. We could have gotten a, a map to something. But that's okay. Good. Three more. I haven't had any upgrades in a while. Uh, let's see. Where are we going? Various deposits I'm going to stay away from. We've got a building over there we haven't been to yet. Let's check it out. There should be stuff there. A couple buildings over here, actually. Is that the building we went to earlier? Is that the miner settlement? Yes, it is. It looks like there's another building in the distance over there. But that might be a uh, sentinel place, so we'll see. We actually came from that direction, did we not? We already got that. Okay, let's go over here. That's curious, right? Yes, it is. Okay, down we go. Hmm. 
We'll head through the cave. And we'll take a look. Very cash, maybe? Good. We can do that. Cargo drop. Okay. Oh, wow. It had an opening on the other end. Good. Almost fully recovered. Excellent. A little extra of that. We do need some oxygen, so we'll go ahead and grab some of these, as long as there's no sentinels around to get angry with us. yellow guy. Ion battery. Excellent. We could always use that. See? That procedural generation will kill you. you gotta be careful. Okay. Life support power is low. Let's grab that. Uh, we get some magnetized ferrite out of it. That's kind of useless to us, but that's okay. All right, we got some buried tech up there. What else we have up there? What is that? Organic rock? Yeah, we don't want to mess with that. And we got some more over here. Along with that. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll hit that one and we'll curl, curl it back around. Yep, yeah, doesn't work on the hills very well. Let it get a charge while we run up the hill a little bit. I don't see any sentinels around, so we're going to go ahead and grab these while we can, because I know we're a little low. Right? Oh, no, we're not that low. Okay, that's fine. We'll use some oxygen next time. I thought we had, I thought we had used a bunch of it earlier, but... Guess not. Okay, buried tech is unburied, actually. Alright, good. Alright. Organic rocks. Oh, okay. They give us chlorine, I think. Yeah, that's all. We're not going to shoot them. Alright, what do we got? Anything up here that is desperately what we want to go after? No, it is not. Let's go back down. Very cash straight ahead, and then we're going to hit the uh, buried technology over there. Hmm, that's weird. Why didn't I see this one earlier, though? Records. That's going to give us some nanites, I believe, right? We're over a thousand now, so that's really good. Alright, so this one is what we're going after first. Got some more nanites out of that, okay. Had to be quiet there for a moment because my neighbor's car alarm was going off. Again. We'll use the sodium. And again. Hmm, 
No upgrades. For some reason. Buried cash. Let's head that way. And I think we've got... There it is. Technology and technology on that area. So we're going to check our inventory here in just a second. See how far along we are. More nanites, okay. Before we start running, let's take a look around real quick, because we might have something nearby. I'd rather see if we can get that. I mean, we haven't had a lot of luck with the berry cache, but if we can just land that one thing, you never know. It might be that one that we said, you know, Let's leave it behind and ignore it. And then we find out, you know, that was probably the one that had the upgrade you were looking for. You know, nice heat shield. S-Class. Wouldn't that be sweet? There we go. Alright, a little more nanites. And... Where's our oxygen? Here we go. Okay. So, we're going to head in that general direction because there was some upgrades over there. That is where the ship was that we want to buy. Okay, so that direction, right? Back down the hill. Use two batteries that time. Mining beam module. Okay, well, not exactly the upgrade I was hoping for, but that's okay. <laughs> Can we pick it up? No. There we go. There we go. All right, there was one more right there there. And how are we doing inventory wise? Let's take a peek. We only got two stacks so far. Sodium nitrate. That's some ferrite dust we're getting rid of. We're going to get rid of that. Okay, that should empty out of our inventory just a touch. Make more room. Okay, there we go. Three of them, huh? Good. Got some buried mineral. I'll go ahead and check it out. Just because. Let's see if we can get it out of there before the uh, other guy is interested in it. Magna gold, only worth 25,000, but it's something. All right. So, we kind of went around in circles here a little bit. We're going to get that buried tech now. Okay. Top of the other hill over there. That'll be good. Up we go. Looks like it's on the other side of the hill, actually. Okay, there we go. Got it. Okay. Got four of them on that one. Okay. Let's 
one up there. Let's go ahead and grab that. Looks like we've got a building up there, too. I don't know if we've ever been there before. Yeah, there's a building on the top of that hill. I don't think we've been there, and that usually means that we could find some goods there. So we'll check that out. Life support file. Power is uh, running low, too. See? Go ahead and use it. There we go. Extra spot available in our exosuit, too. So it will be a little bit of a longer trek to get back. It seems to happen every time that I'm somehow on my mining laser again. Okay, what do we get? Three salvage data and a starship shield module, which is handy, to be clear, but not what we're looking for. Put these down here and put you over here. Nope. Put you over there. Actually, I might use that. It's useless to me otherwise. Actually, perfect timing. There we go. Now, that building was over here, so we're going to check that out real quick. Cargo drop. I just want to make sure there's no buried cash along the way. There's some buried tech along the way here. Let's go this way. Ah, sodium patch. How much sodium do we have? 63. Okay, so we can get about another 230 of it. Well, these plants don't give out a lot, I'll tell you that. The oxygen plants give out more. Okay, well, it's all she wrote. That's okay. One at 146. I thought that was one closer than that. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. And there's one right there. Another four. Good. Seventy-three. Other side of the hill. Right there. Good. Alright. Well let's head to that buried tech. It's right on the way to the building. Maybe we can make it before we have to recharge anything. Maybe not. It's an abandoned structure, it looks like. And the opening is over here. Okay, just gotta watch out for the slapper. Oh, take him out. There we go. Technology All right. Good. Let's check the damaged machinery. And we're going to get the buried tech out back. More Starship launch fuel. Very handy, actually. That's okay. This will increase our... Uh, what do you call it? Our... Uh, standing with the Gek. Alright. Just like our other building we were in. There we go. Alright, so how many do we have all total? We have nearly four stacks, which is exactly what we were hoping for. So if we can get some on the way back, that would be wonderful. We got a buried cache on the way. Yeah, let's head that direction and hope that we just run across one. That'll be fine. And that should be enough money to get ourselves a ship. I knew we'd be close last time, but I didn't know if we'd be close enough. This time I know we're close enough, so... Platinum. 
Platinum's actually worth something, so we will hang on to it for now. This is not worth anything. I'm getting rid of it. So that leaves us two spots open. That'll be fine. So our place is that way. Let's just keep running in that direction. Hopefully we'll come across something on the way. Anything will do at this point. Another buried cache. Perfectly fine. All right. Go. Very nice. Downhill is always funner. Funner? More fun? More nanites, it looks like. That's all we got. All right. Doesn't look like we're going to get anything else, unfortunately. That is okay. Ow. I knew that was going to hurt. We do have some ancient data structure. We'll take a look up there. As we're keeping as focused as we can, as we want to move forward and try to get up to that area as quickly as possible at this point. Wow, we're really moving fast now. Oh, well. It got us a little closer. Ah, we did get one upgrade out of it. Good. Okay, good. So let me just check, make sure it's not occupying too much space. Nope. All right, good. And we're heading that way. Is there any buried tech right near here? We've got another building we haven't discovered yet either. We did. We passed some by right behind us. Let's grab that. Okay. How many do we get? Two? Alright, that's fine. That's fine. We don't need more. Okay, good. So that should get us everything we need. Let's stick to the ridge top if we can. Good. Because this will make it easier hit the platform because we're already up high hey buddy and there's our platform okay good it is time to buy a ship. That's a shuttle. Shuttle. Yep. Not much of what we're looking for. We got one fighter in there. I think we're about to die. There we go. And life support? Really don't want to have to use that. I'll make a life support shell when we get there. Unless we can buy one, that would be great. I don't think we can get any life support shells. Maybe a dihydrogen? No? Hmm. Well, it's worth a shot. We got a bunch of stuff to sell. So, is anyone here? Literally every ship is left, yeah? Well, I'd like to wait until the ship shows up. That we want to get. Oh, we're in good shape, though. That's a shuttle and a hauler. 
Now the hauler. Ah, there we go. Please tell me you're a C-class, because I don't think I can afford anything else. B-class, 12 million. Yeah, figures. There's another, another explorer class. A-class, great. But we're going to sell to you guys, because I want to make sure we get what we are needing in advance. We gotta get our life support going here. And I wanna save my oxygen if I can. Alright, uh, what do you got? You got tritium. Mm hmm. Cell. Magna gold. Platinum. Salvage data. Almost 7 million. Good. Exosuit upgrade chart. There we go. Just about 7 million. Cool. I don't think there's really anything else to sell in here. We could sell half of these. You know what? Hang on to all 12. Alright. And I want to buy... I want to get some tritium because we're going to need it. I know we are. Alright. Everybody else left? Yeah, they did. I'm walking instead of running. Okay, good. Let's see what lands. I mean, I don't like the look of that ship because it's a pain in the neck. It's not balanced in my view, but you know, it is what it is. You know, we'll get what we have to. But this is good. Another hauler, another hauler. Looks like another hauler over there. Our guy's just leaving. That's a shuttle. I mean, it's 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 cheap enough. We can buy it, but it's really... That's 2714, too. And one of the haulers just left. So we're going to wait around just a little bit. Oh, we are forgetting everything, aren't we? Oh, boy. Okay. Review... Any more copper? We have some copper. Let's charge this back up just a little bit more. Get you going. Alright, what do we got? That is a shuttle. Almost worth it. B-class explorer. Am I ready to go to that building? <laughs> I get the feeling we're not going to really have much choice in the matter. We're going to have to put some oxygen in our tank. There. That'll work for now. Because I don't want to die. Holder. Ah, you're done. Okay, we don't need that anymore. We got tons of chromatic metal. We're in good shape there. Okay, shuttle is gone. Hoping we can get our ship. That would be kind of nice. Then we just got to find ourselves a traveler grave, which will give us a glyph. Oop, what do we have? Not my favorite, 10 million. 22, huh? Yep, yeah, we don't have that money for that one, that's for sure. Allers I'm not even going to bother looking at. We'll have to wait. Sigh. Come on, guys. Take off. Get out of here. Make room for more. Come on. Out of here. Go, go, go. You must leave. Okay, looks like we got a couple more haulers coming in. These are going in my ship. All of this. Okay. 
Yep, see, like I said, what are they, 126 and 185 million. Fantastic. Not going to have that kind of money. There's another hauler at 21 million, but no. Really like to get that Explorer class that we saw earlier. A couple of them we saw earlier that were just perfectly fine as long as they're C class. We don't need a heavy duty ship here, so we should be good. We're in that lull. We're at a half stage, if you will. Okay, one of the haulers are gone. Oop, I wasn't trying to do that. Forgot there was a ladder there. It's funny, I'm actually... Should be outside right now, but I'm not. A weird... Okay, we got one hauler left on the platform and no one landing. Oi. Okay, he's gone. Where is everybody? Okay, we got a fighter coming in. C class at 6.7 million. We barely have enough to cover that. Not even going to try that. Okay, I think it best if I hold out for the explorer class. I know it takes a lot to do that. We got a fighter, a shuttle, two haulers, and another shuttle. At 7 million. How much do we have again? 6.9? Yeah. Because we need the money. There was some that were landing. You saw them. 5.8 million. I don't know why is that, why this is happening. <laughs> two hours in. It is what it is. I mean, really, what are you going to do, right? Maybe I should sit down. Or I should prepare for action. I don't know what he's up to. What are you going to do? Run off the platform? Enough of that. Cut it out. I do have to admit, doing these permadeath runs are much more fun when people are watching on a live stream. This is... Almost pathetic. <laughs> but still okay. It's still okay. Okay, we've got another fighter coming in. Fighter's okay. If a fighter comes in and it's, you know, six mil, yeah. We'll consider it. Eight mil. Not quite enough. And you're not allowed that's another rule, by the way. You can't trade in your old ship too, so. You got a shuttle coming in. You got an explorer class coming in. Shuttle. Eight mil. Five point seven. That's what we're looking for. Okay, I don't like the layout of this one, but we're going to grab it because it's just the right price. All right, so uh, we have nothing to trade. We're going to make an offer on the Lifeform Starship, and we're going to negotiate a price. What do we got? We, we got an S-Class shield in here, too. That's good. All right. And it won one, one supercharged slot. Very nice. Again, we can't exchange. We have to buy at full price. And there we go. So we now have ourselves, we are now the happy owners of a ship. It'd be funny if one of the explorer class that I was thinking of would land right about now. But it's not. So we're okay. Alright. Uh, let's go pick up our base computer. We don't need it here anymore. All gone. And that is the start of our journey. Now, we're done with the main course here. Now our next thing is we're going to go up to the space station. We're going to look for a traveler. See if there happens to be one there. Maybe we'll get lucky. If there isn't, we'll find a planet. Doesn't make a difference which one. Preferably a moon. And that was weird. And we will go ahead and there we go. Look for one on one of those worlds. Okay. First things first. Let's move some stuff over. Okay, all that moved over. Got a big inventory now. We're going to put this in our ship as well. Uh, dense carbon. Dramatic metal. There we go. That looks much better. I feel better already. In here, we are going to change some things around. Shield. Shield is at 205, 218, 220. Good. Hyperdrive. 
We'll worry about that later. Um, let's see. Landing. I like the pulse engine being in there, but we'll worry about that later. Um, let's put the hyperdrive in there instead. Photon cannon. Gives us a little more damage potential. A little bit. Launch thrusters. Okay. So we need these. That's what we needed our oxygen for. One, two, three, four. And we're going to do four of these. I don't know what it's telling me. Oh, I got because I just escaped the atmosphere. One, two, three. Okay. Well, we'll be able to make three. That's fine. One, two, three. Fifty percent. Okay, yeah, we made it to space, that's why. Alright, where's our space station at? Doesn't look like it's too far. Overgrown planet with, uh, you know what, hang on a second. Let's take a look at these planets. I want to see if we have anything that'll worth our, that's worth our while. Empty planet. Very good planet to go to. That one's pretty far out, but that's okay. Life incompatible. Actually, that might work too. So how many planets we got? We got three in the entire system plus the one we just came from, right? And we didn't scan the third one, did we? That's the empty one. Okay. All right, we got them all. No paradise planets or anything like that, so we're not so fortunate to have that. So while that overgrown planet is a nicer planet, it has aggressive sentinels, and that's just taking our life into our hands if we do that. Hmm. There. Sooner or later we'll get in there, right? Turning radius of a 18-wheeler. Uh, Good grief. All right. We made it. Okay. So, what can we get while we're here? We're going to look for a traveler. Let's just check the galactic trade terminal. We got some more copper we can get, so that's good. We can make more chromatic metal. Excellent. All right. Nothing else in here is really worth our while except for the wiring looms. Okay, good. Up to the second floor. Let's look around. Who do we got? I don't see any travelers, unfortunately. I'll keep looking, but I'm pretty sure there are none. Nope. Well, okay. So we're going to have to go to a planet. We're going to have to search ourselves. Okay. First of all, let's get our free upgrade since we can get it. I'm going to put it right in the middle because it's annoying me. There we go. Uh, do we need any upgrades? Let's check. If I can get a jetpack upgrade. Let's see. So we got toxic protection, S class. Let's go all the way to the back. Shield, we got life support. Movement module A, movement module S, and it's a thousand nanites. So as you can see, things are very expensive here. So we gotta be careful what we get. An A class movement upgrade movement module will be better off for us right now. So we got toxic protection, we got cold protection, we got radiation protection. Underwater. And back to toxic again. Okay. So, I am going to get a class movement module. And... We have cold protection, we do. And I don't have any worlds I can go to that are cold. But I like the idea of going to a cold planet. So let me get cold protection to start with. We already had that, right? Go figure. Toxic. No. Let's do the cold. Love to get a hot protection, but they don't have it here for some reason. I don't know why. You're in a system that has it, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Okay. And a movement module. And that should give us, hopefully, a decent boost. It does. Good. Alright. That helps a little bit. 
Okay, we don't really have any nanites left, so there's no reason for us to spend any, waste any more time here. Uh, let's go ahead and get going. We do want a hyperdrive upgrade one of these days, but we'll get more nanites later. Alright. I don't really want to go to the aggressive Sentinel planet. That would be a nice planet to, uh, otherwise, if it wasn't aggressive. So we're not going to do that. The one beyond it is the life incompatible. This one is empty. Scalding. That's the one we came from. Oh, there it is. And that is the empty planet. Got salvageable scrap, though. That might be worth going to. That'll give us some more money. And maybe we'll, we can run across a... You know, graves. So let's head there. going to be an interesting looking planet anyway. The atmosphere looked purple. Okay. Now I don't think we're going to find anything on this planet, except maybe something like that. So it makes it a little bit easier to search the planet. Let's go ahead and head north and just see what we find. I'm curious. We're just going to glide along. We'll do a scan on occasion. And again, I don't think we're going to find anything here. There's just elements and there's no flora or fauna. It is empty otherwise. Occasional oxygen plants and rocks and things like that. life incompatible planet wouldn't be a bad idea either monolith would be great we're in a gex system so i don't have to offer much to get where we need to go and find a portal yeah i don't think we're going to find anything in the way of a landing pad or anything like that we could find a crash ship. That's what I should have done while I was on the space station. Yeah, that would have been a smarter idea. Up and over. Yeah, it's a big planet, unfortunately, so finding anything on this place is going to be problem. We may have to leave it. We may have to check the aggressive sentinel place, whether we like it or not. Some plants here and there. A couple of them. That's about it. Yeah. That's carbon. We might even be better off going back to the planet we were at when we started. That might be the better place to go. What do you think? Why am I asking you? You're only listening to the video. Eh, let's see. There is literally, this is as barren as barren gets. I'm kind of surprised that there isn't anything here uh, that we can't find. You know, like we just passed over dihydrogen, but, you know, uh, more monoliths, ancient structures. I kind of would expect it more, but we're not seeing anything. Okay. I think we need to leave the planet. What do you think? Ooh, ancient ruin. That might work for now. 
Maybe we'll get a treasure here that'll be worth something too. Stuck. Uh oh. This is one of the glitches of No Man's Sky, by the way. Occasionally you run into. It wants to land, but for some reason it thinks suddenly that it can't. And you get stuck. I can't even do anything at this point. Okay. What we're going to have to do is, let's see. We're going to have to do a re little reload here. Fortunately, it seems to auto save. So it saved two minutes ago. We'll just reload the auto save. We're back. <laughs> so we're going to continue on that path, and we'll see if we can land at that place again. Should be right over here. That little depression right there. There it is. So we're going to try to land over to one side. And see if that works. There we go. So just choose a different spot. Okay. Now, let's check. Light gravity. Okay, great. We got some gravitino balls, but we don't need those. Let's uh, terrain manipulate the daylights out of this place. Pick up our first key. Second key. And third key down here. There. Just easier to go through this if you can do it the right way. Third key. Over here. Dig down. There's your crate. And use the keys you just got to unlock it. Rare item, 2,540 years old. That should be worth a little bit. Excellent, 2 million. That was definitely worth my time. I almost wanted to, I was hoping to get a crash ship or something like that, but that's definitely worth more. All right, this planet literally has nothing other than that, so we are going to head on out. Let's get off this planet. Now we just get to decide which of the three we need to go to. That is the same similar planet as this one. Let me just pulse away from this one because we can't scan anything right now. I'll go ahead and take the incoming message because otherwise it'll annoy the baloney out of us. There we go. All right. Because we had to reload, we have to re... So life, life incompatible. We're not going to find anything there. We know that that one, while a pretty planet, is going to house problems because of the aggressive sentinels. But we might be able to find something there better. It'll be more temperate. And then we came from there to begin with. So I'm going to give this a shot. I know it's dangerous, but we're going to go ahead and head there. We're not heading to the strangest coordinates. We're going to head to the planet, and we're going to take a chance that we can find a ooh, rare object. Pirate controlled monitoring station. Will pirates appear?
Let's find out. Yep. And that was it. Okay, we got a pirate transponder out of it and a tech package. Okay, where are we going? Back this way. Alright. There, back to engines. Okay, so we need... that's heading towards an ocean. Let's head towards land. Let's head over in this general direction. Alright. Let's do this. So we're going to come in a little bit low, and we're going to see if we can't just scan the, scan the ground. See if we come across a gravestone at this point. As soon as we find a building, what we want to do is we want to head you know, along the ley lines. Interesting. Ah, oh, there's a building. Okay, good. Very good. Big building. All right, so which way? South? Let's head south. And we want to take it not too, too quickly. And we're going to look for any aberrations in the ground that, it, that indicate it could have a, you know, gravestone here. We got to pay attention to our top bar up there, the uh, radar, if you will. They're kind of hard to see from your ship, but we're going to do the best we can. It would be easier if we could get out and go, but... You know what would be easier? Going to a different system. Let's find a system that has a moon, and we can scour the moon, and then we can check the space stations along the way. What do you say? We have the ability to do that. Let's do it. So, let's go... Oh, it's a dissonant system, too. How many planets we got? And there's a moon. Excellent. Maybe we'll find a traveler in the, in the space station. That would be great. Much smarter idea than to try to brave a aggressive sentinel planet. There we go. Okay. First planet. What do we got? Dead planet. Of course it is. That one? The moon? Please tell me it's not dead. It's desolate. Same thing. Might as well be. And finally, you. What are you? Freezing. Okay, so that's... We can deal with that. Alright, there is supposed to be a planet beyond you. Let me just take it off to one side. I'm hoping the moon would be someplace neat. We'll go to the space station in a moment. Should be able to see the planet by now. There it is. It looks like a cold planet as well. Murky. Eh, okay. Alright, off to the space station we go. We can hit the freezing planet because we got protection for that, so that'll be good. <clears throat> but hopefully the space station has a traveler. Good, good, good. And we have something we can sell, so let me see what we got here. Oh, life support. I'll take it. We could have sold it, but I'd rather, you know, get stuff that we need right now to help our character out just a little bit. Alright, we can sell the item in our inventory. That'll give us a plenty of credits. There it is. Two million. Fantastic. What do you have in your inventory we can buy? Anything worth our while? We do need uh, ferrite. You have it. You don't have it. No ferrite. You stink. Okay, well, that's fine. That's because of the nature of our mode that we're in right now. Uh, let's see. How about you? 
we're going to purchase... That's not what I was here for. We want to go to the guy downstairs. We'll get him in a minute. We're also looking for a traveler. I don't see one, do you? Will these guys take anything? Donate? No, doesn't work. He's just waving me away. I don't see a traveler here. We keep walking around just in case. We can get an upgrade. We got the money now. Exosuit upgrade. And we fill in the gaps real quick. Okay. Nope, nobody there. Eh, credits. What do you know? Alright, I don't see any. Alright. No travelers here, so we'll go on to the next system. But, before we do... What do we need? Ah, uh, we don't need that. Sorry. We didn't need help. We just needed to exchange for specific charts. So what we're going to do is we're going to get... Um, alien cartographic data. That's what we need. I'm going to get as many as I can. I'm going to get six of them, I think. Not as many as I can. There we go. And that should help. All right. Let's get going. So we're going to go on to the next system. And sooner or later, we're going to need to get condensed carbon because we're going to run out of uh, hyperspace juice. I think we can do at least one more jump. Galactic core. That's the direction we want to go in. All right. Bigger system, not quite. How about you? These are at a jump range. Go figure. How about you? How can you be at a jump range? You're closer. How close are you? 148. You're kidding me, right? 159. 132. Still three planets. Jump range, jump range, jump range. How about you? 88. Cadmium. How about you? Too far. Definitely too far. You're definitely too far. Okay, let's go over here. Ah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's do it. And we're going to get into a pirate battle one of these days. It's probably going to be the last jump we can make before we have to start getting, like I said, condensed carbon. So, to make some more hyper, hyper gels. There we go. All right. Hmm. Might have some good candidates already. Pretty far out. The nest. Nope, ain't going there. Also aggressive. Invested paradise. You've got to be kidding me. Unknown? What do we got? Irradiated. Hmm. And you. You look terrible. Freezing. Okay, that can work. And we're pretty close by. Okay, let's hit the space station. Let's hope our we have a traveler here. There's one more planet beyond the, the one that we that's behind us, but we shall see. Ooh, purple. For the space out. All right. Let's hope that means something good. I'm looking for a traveler. So we're going to go upstairs. Yak. Corvax. No, nope, you are uh, by Keen. Corvax. I do not see any travelers. Go figure. Used to be a time when you could find them all over the place. How much do you cost? Let's put it down there. Two more Gek. Viking. 
Okay, we'll have to conclude there are none here. All right. It's a shame. How are we doing on our hyperdrive? Let's check. 10%. We ain't jumping anywhere. So we have no choice but to go someplace. Okay. This way to that planet. The freezing planet, but we'll be able to survive there, okay? Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll stumble across something. Emergency broadcast detected in local space. Slow down to intercept the sender. It says pirate on it, so I don't know if I want to do that. I think I'm going to leave that alone. Mountainous terrain. But we should have buildings here. Looks like we got trees. We should have dioxide here too. That'll be handy. Alright, let's head in a direction real quick here. Go north. I'll do another scan. Scan is recharging. I thought it was already done. Nope. Okay, we're not picking up anything here. That's a tree. Ah, building. The white is going to make things a little bit more difficult to pick out, but that's okay. Again, we want to watch our radar just in case something goes by underneath. That is not what we're looking for. Another building to our right. No, it's not. Yet another beacon. Nothing. We're hitting it just at the wrong time. Looks like a building, but it could just be rocks. Yeah, it's rocks. Okay. Building up there. Let's see if it's a building or just a little campsite or something. Campsite it is. It's actually a drop pod. I'm not going to worry about drop pods right now. It's not as important. Ah! Why can't it pick up these structures, right? Alright. Bring it in. We have ourselves a landing pad. Okay. Let's take a look, shall we? Alright, we do want some dioxide, so I do want to head out that way. Um, we got another building up there of some sort. Not interested in broken technology now. Okay. What do you have, technology merchant? Not much of anything. I am going to grab some dihydrogen, uh, that, that one dihydrogen jelly. I think that's important. I'll grab your random matter housing too, just because I can. Okay, let's go to the trade terminal and see what you got. Hmm, let me see. Not much. Oh, dioxide. I'll take it. Okay, good. So now we have life support. Uh, let's see. Oop, back. Life support it is. That's going to go on my ship, which it claims is out of range. Okay. 
All right. We need condensed carbon. We're gonna have to go on a little Tom and Jerry version here. There we go. Mining beam. That's what we're looking for. I'll go ahead and scan you guys because you never know how many animals we got to deal with. Six. That would be great if we could find all six. Two. Guarantee there's at least one flying one around here. I'm heading towards the condensed carbon in case you're wondering. Birds. That's three. Four. Any more? Any more? Any more? I thought I saw something red over there. I do. It's 80 out, so it's going to be on the other side of this. There you are. That's five. Okay. Ooh. We got the oxygen plants, too. That's good. Lots of condensed carbon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is what we needed. Hopefully no sentinels getting in the way while I finish this up. Good. Very good. Alright, excellent, excellent. Let's head back to the building that we were discovering. You do want to look around on occasion because you never know when you might stumble across a grave. No graves. Good time for a storm, you know. My guess is the lap. Nope, there it is. Is that it? That is six. Fantastic. How many do we get? 1,500 nanites. Awesome. That sounds like a good upgrade to me. We're going to let that get down a little bit further. We're going to put a battery in it. Okay, so there's nothing here. This was useless to us. That's about it. All right. Ancient data structure. That's okay. I don't know if we're going to go after that. Okay, I think it's. I think it's time to head back. How much oxygen we got? Oh, we're really low. Just looking, because you never know, right? Okay. Actually, let's go to the other one. It's going to go up that platform, but it's easier just to go up this one. Okay. And into our ship. All right. So... We should be able to make some antimatter. Good. How much can we make? Good. Need more ferrite dust. Okay, but we can make warp cells. Good. Excellent. Okay. So that gets us a little bit further. We can make at least two jumps with it. I wonder... Nope, can't do that. I was wondering about that. You get the little bit of condensed carbon around it, but that's about it. Alright, so... As ley lines go, we were headed north, I think. South? I don't quite remember. We would like to find a grave, but I don't think we're going to find it here. We need to find a traveler. I think that's what this boils down to. So, let's... Head out. We have enough to get us by for the time being. And we can go on to our next system. Alright, let's see. 
see. There we go. Ooh, big system. Is that there? Now let's just hope we find him. Because we're over two and a half hours now, and it would be great if we could finish this by the three hour. So our next focus on our nanites is to get hyperdrive upgrades. Space station. Getting dangerously close to um, pirate attack, so it's quite the space station. Red this time. Nice. Front parking space. Okay. Alright, let's hope for the best here, guys. So far, nothing. Is that one? Yes, it is. Fantastic. If you come for me, let's see. Ask about the blood. Save, please, no problem. You can have anything. Tell their family. Okay. He just gave me 120 nanites, which we will in turn ask him where they came from for 250. Okay, so we are good to go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so let's look for hyperdrive upgrade real quick. We got a thousand nanites, at least 1600. Okay. Launch just hyperdrive, yes. We'll go to an S class one. And all they have is a C class. That's it. Oh, they got a B class. I'll grab the B. Is the C worth it? I'll get it. Why not? Okay. So put this over the ship. Install this one. Where is my hyperdrive? Up there. Okay, let's move things around a little bit here, shall we? Actually, no, we kind of want to leave the hyperdrive up there. Don't we? Okay, let's go like that. S class, where'd it go? It's over here. 443, 627, 713. So, what are we getting out of these? 61, 132, and 235. Now, I'm going to try something. So 713 is where we're at. Put you down here. 738 by doing that. Okay. So, we'll keep it that way. Alright. So that's good. Now, we can't make another antimatter because we're out of ferrite dust. We need 50 more ferrite. What do we got over here? Magnetized. That doesn't help us at all. Love to get some ferrite, but I don't think anybody's selling any because of the permadeath mode that we're in. Yeah, that's what I thought. Tritium. Yeah, let's grab that. Excellent. We need that. Great to find some uh, uranium. Chromatic metal. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. 123,000. We got the money for it. Pugnium. Huh. No, I'm going to skip it. I don't think we really need it, to be honest. Where's... Did someone just land? So that guy take off. Right. I thought there was more. Okay. It is what it is. Um, we need to... be able to make more... antimatter, and we need to make more... that. So we need a lot more ferrite dust. Uh, what do we got down here? Really good shape as far as the chromatic metal is concerned. Okay, we're good. Let's take another jump. Unless there's a paradise planet here. If we can find a paradise planet, we're in good shape. That's not a paradise planet. It actually would still work for us, though. It's an empty planet. Actually, that'll work. We can get ferrite there. Let's do it. Empty is okay. Because they have rocks.
Alright. We got shadows. Alright, slow down. We're not getting a lot. The weapons on this ship are pitiful. Let's just use our mining beam. It's easier. We're not interested in the secondary item either. We're just going to go ahead and grab what we can. Yeah, we got that. Thank you. Oh, don't need pure. Just need regular. Good. Good. Who knew that we were going to need more, right? Let's see how we're doing. Good. Excellent. So, we can do this now. Let's see. Oxygen and ferrite dust. Okay. So that's just two. We need condensed carbon to make more of that. Do we have any condensed carbon? Let's do a scan. Which we should have on this planet. I see none. Got oxygen. Whoa. Hey, hey. Easy, buddy. Easy. Okay. How's our scanner doing? It's taking forever to recharge. Okay. And I doubt we're going to have any carbon around here. Um, no, I didn't think so. We could try checking that cave. Wait a minute, is that? No. There was a cave there, wasn't there? Wasn't there a cave there just a second ago? I could have swore there was a cave here. I don't see a cave. Yeah, we don't want to hit those uh, eggs, that's for sure. Really not in the mood to deal with that. Sometimes you can find a plant, and it gives you a crap ton of carbon. Let's see. And we make some condensed carbon. We don't have a lot. Carbon, carbon, carbon. Where are you? There you are. I can make 50. Is our scanner charged? Yes, it is. Let's take another scan. Literally nothing. We have an oxygen over there, and that's it. I will grab it, because we're going to need it. Ooh, good. Bonus. Three oxygens. Four. Good, 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 good. Our life support power is low. Did you know that? Normal protection is low. Mining beam's a little bit down. We're going to need carbon wherever we go to next. Okay. Okay, got four. We got four. Okay, that'll give us four warp cells. All right, we're in good shape. Let's put this in our... Yeah, that's good. Why not? Okay. Let's go. Oh, what do you know? Dense carbon. Darn scanners. Okay. And we're going to go after our... Guy over here. We need our glyph. Hey, glyph. How you doing? 
Gamma intensive. Okay. That's uranium too. That's good. Do some uranium. That's actually really good. Good for our launch thrusters. So here's our glyph. Almost forgot it, I'll be honest. Oh look, condensed carbon right behind us. Good. And we'll wait for him to dissipate, go someplace else. Okay. There's our glyph. Okay, we have our glyph. Nice. And what do we got? Auto Oh, nice. Launch recharger. Get you over here. There. Just in case. Excellent. Good. Take that without him getting upset. Okay, got them all. <laughs> and I need... If there is any... uranium right over there. I'll go ahead and scan some animals while we're here. No, we're not getting all 10. Yeah, we're not going to be here that long. Sodium. Sodium. Let's go to the uranium. Life support power is low. There we go. Could have swore we charged it up, didn't we? Got angry animals here. Got to be careful. Please tell me that that... Oh, okay, good, good. It's right here. We don't need much. A couple hundred would be nice. Get what we can. How much do we got? 113. You can always buy some cobalt at a space station. Okay, we should be up to about 200 by now. 193. There we go. That should do it. 235. Uranium 235. What do you know? Come on. Figures. Like I said, it always looks like it's still got a little bit left, and then it doesn't. Good deal. We're out of here. Okay, so. Are we out of here? Out of here? Or are we out of here? Let's find out, shall we? First things first. Back to the starship. So, we are looking for a monolith. Now, what system is this, by the way? Please tell me it's not Viking. Good. Corvax. That's an artifact, okay. Monolith, that's where we're headed. We got this. On our way.
Yep. Not a fast ship. There you are. Okay. Three words aren't going to help us. At all. Uh, let's see. If they might have invaded, plus you sent a robot with pop to this constant pin tricks, you have each paper hole. Spiders, I'm uh, sure they're in the spike. Can we realize I'm start to scream? Wait. Don't fire your weapon. Wait. Fades, I pass some sort of test, the reward materializes. Very good. Then, we go back in. Locate a portal. We have a portal. Good deal. Off we go. That looks like a river passing through the countryside. Isn't that beautiful? I will have to look for that at some other point in time. Interesting. That's a new feature. I forgot about that. And I've yet that's the first time I've seen it. I've seen a river. Isn't that fantastic? Oh. It was a little closer than I thought it was. I was going to have to pulse out to it. Alright, now, the biggest thing right now is whether we have the resources to activate said portal. Hopefully, we do. We need copper. We're going to need copper. Is that... that's sodium. Which we could also use, but that's not what we're here for. Alright. Let's take a look around and see if we can discover some copper. Sodium. Or are we going to have to go elsewhere? Sodium. Sodium. All sodium. Okay. Let's activate what we can. Because we would need copper, and unfortunately we didn't bring any. Anything, anything, anything. All we have is sodium everywhere. Okay. Good reason to have held on to the indium, I guess. The hydrogen. Oh, it's twice as much than I thought. See? See? Uh, let's do the condensed for now, so we don't have any other copper, sodium, the hydrogen... Uh, let's use the oxygen. Sodium. Hydrogen. Not enough. Condensed we've got. Sodium. Okay, we got those taken care of. The hydrogen we got taken care of. Good. And let's go with the oxygen. Okay, so we need copper and that looks like it. Just copper. Okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we just check this planet and make sure it does actually have copper first. It does. Yes, it does. Okay, good. So we can come back to the portal, but let's take a look around. Well, if this flies straight, we should be able to find something. That's sodium. building. It's a very uh, dense foliage on this planet. Okay, let's land. Let's make sure our landing launch thrusters are good. Okay. Take a look. Sodium again. Copper, finally. Okay, good. Uranium, we don't need it anymore. Copper over there. Let's head over there. Hmm. 
I'm going to guess that we need at least 24 copper per. So, at least 100 of it. Sorry, buddy. I'll come back. Take another swipe at me later. Actually, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. This is a big deposit. So, we should be able to get a couple hundred just in the size that it is right now. Check. Copper, copper, copper. We're at 100 right now. Okay. We'll go ahead and grab it. Clean it all out. Whoop, we fell in. <laughs> okay. I think we're good, right? Alright, let's head back to the ship. Glowing rocks. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? Well, why not? It is, a, you know, radioactive planet, so. go. Back to the portal. Very nice. So, this will get us within about five to six thousand light years of the center. Let's unlock the rest. Yep, I was right. 24. And last but not least. And we're done. Okay, activate the portal. We only have one that we can do. Go. Location corrupted, approximation destination. That's correct. So it's going to take me to one of the closest planets it can get me to. just a few steps closer. Now we can go 700 light years at a time, so it'll take about eight jumps to get there. So we're going to need enough to make enough uh, uh, warp cells to fill it completely a couple times over. So we're going to need a lot more oxygen, condensed carbon, ferrite. We have plenty of chromatic metal now. But we need resources. Okay. And here we are. Oops, wrong one. Back to the mining beam. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. I figure we're going to need at least a couple hundred, at least. We'll need several hundred, I think. Maybe we just mowed down the whole lawn over here. we go. How are we looking? 250 and 300. Good. And we got some more. Good. This we're going to put in our ship, which is out of range. Where is our ship? 
Oop, okay, that kind of planet. Put those in the, in the ship. We only have a little bit of condensed carbon and carbon, so we need to find some plants, and I don't think this is that kind of planet. So, oh, life support's really, really low again. Anybody else find that interesting? Okay, off we go. Let's get out of this planet and see what we can find, shall we? Okay, discover. What do we got? A million. It's got cadmium. Okay, so that's the kind of system we're in here. What other planets do we have here? Acrid. Ammonia silver. But we should be able to find carbon there, don't you think? Let's do it. We are over the three hour mark, finally. But if things go well, we should be able to finish this pretty good now. We just need to make sure we have enough warp cells. Uh, nope, don't want that. I'm going to park near... Um, we need oxygen, of course. And we do need... Let's see. Carbon. I'm not seeing much in the way of plants here. There's dense carbon. Let's go ahead and just drop down here. This looks fine. I should really do a quick scan to see if there's anything nearby. No? Okay. Oh. Guess what? Carbon. Oops. He doesn't like that. That's okay. Oh, you drones are driving me nuts. I'll come back. Let's go over here and get some carbon from over here instead. Hey, carbon. Getting a lot of carbon, are we? Let's see. What do we got? Oxygen's up there. We've got condensed carbon over here. Let's go back and get the condensed. We're going to upset the restless uh, sentinel, but that's okay. Like I said, we need a lot of these. So, let's see what we can create. Okay, we need more oxygen. Can we make any antimatters? We need 12 all total. So, how many do we need? Eight? Eight? We need eight. Okay, let's go. carbon over there. That'll work. Unbelievable. We need oxygen. And we're going to get some oxygen whether you like it or not, buddy. Investigating again. Okay. 
mostly the carbon itself is for us. For the mining beam. Don't care how many steps I've gone right now. Problem is, it's taking forever for everything to recharge here. Go over here and grab some oxygen while we upset him. Really, really sticklers for this stuff, aren't they? turn off multiplayer. There we go. Because I was in trouble there for just a moment. There we go. Okay. Nice. That's a good amount. Okay. Scan. Oxygen over there. Like there's at least two plants, maybe. Well, it's just one. All right. Where's my ship at? Grabbing some of that for my life support. I'm gonna make a gel and I'll make a life support gel so we can keep going. Hey, what do you know? We can get uranium over there. How's our inventory look? Okay, good. We have room. We do have uranium already, so we don't need any. Okay, moving on. Okay, oxygen. Meteor storm, fun. Okay, we're out of batteries. Let's get in our ship. Okay, let's see how much we can make now. Need eight. Good. That's eight. Eight. I'm gonna make two more. Excellent. Good. Good, good, good. Very nice. We are in excellent shape now. Okay, so we are gold. We're ready to go. And let's see, we're going to put this in our ship. Uranium goes in our ship. We have copper just in case we need it. Condensed carbon. Pure ferrite can go away. And we have 255 regular ferrite left. There we go. I'm going to make one of those for a life support gel in case we need it. Okay, we're ready to go. Now, how does our nanites look? 222. Not great. I'm going to do a little something something to get some nanites, and then we're going hit to the, hit the space station on the way. We can't do it. No anomaly. No anomaly. 
Fascinating. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and just hit the center. Galactic center. There we go. So we are headed that way. We are 5,307, 309. And we can go about 700 light years at a shot. That's a little bit too far out, right? Yes. Not quite. There we go. We'll go here. Now, problem is, is we are going to run into a space battle at some point. I'm going to see if the old-fashioned trick works, where we can fly to the front of the freighter, the front freighter, and uh, kind of knock into it a little bit. Okay, we should have this in about 15 minutes. Okay. But because we don't have any nanites, I'm not going to bother trying to get an upgrade, because we really don't have anything to get an upgrade with. So, unless we uninstall something, but even that's not going to get us a little bit. Okay, let's go. Just jump, jump, jump. Uh, center of the galaxy, there we go. It's 6... 618, can we get to that one? 682, that'll work. Let's see how much closer we are. I think we should be able to get four jumps in before we get there. Maybe we will need more warp cells. <laughs> yep, there we go. Oh, well, let's try it. If it doesn't work, we have the space station right there. Lead freighter. Right here. And then head straight for it. See if it see if it works. Got it. All right. Can we go to hyperspace? Yes, we can. All right. How far? Getting there. That looks like it. And actually, I think we're getting very, very close to the edge. We don't have to have a huge hyperspace jump to get there. We just have to have a full hyperdrive. It's got to be fully charged. And here we go. Are we ready? So let me charge up my hyperdrive. Let me just check first. Hold on. Galactic Center. Okay, we have to get to a system that is literally right on the edge of it. This one. Your mind is a lie. That's perfect. There we go. Should be the last jump. We're going to recharge as soon as we get here. And we have one more jump to go. Oh yeah, that still works, what do you know? Only certain ships it'll work with. Alright. Actually, just curious. Tropical with aggressive. Okay, just curious. Alright, let's charge. No, that's not what I was looking for. Alright, what are we at? 50%. We're at 100%. Let's do it. Let's see if we can get to the center. Galactic center is selected. There's a way to get this to work. Is it the E? I can't see the center anymore. Let me pull back just a little bit. Ah, there it is. OK. 
Okay, hold on. Galactic core. All right, we can't seem to go to the galactic core from here. Looks like we're going to have to go here. So I'll go ahead and go here. We'll have to put another charge into our hyperdrive. Looks like we got yet one more jump to do. Hmm. Rainy planet. Bile brood. Okay. Let's see if it works this time. I think it does. There it is. And ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the center of the galaxy. And of course everything will be destroyed. Our ship, our multi-tool, our exosuit, everything's going to be damaged. But we made it. Oof. So, what happens when you get to the center of the Euclid galaxy, ladies and gentlemen? You go to galaxy number two. And you get treated to the music that indicates you've completed an expedition as well. Isn't that something? So this particular broadcast to this particular video has been done as a couple different tests. Number one, I have successfully tested that my OBS and No Man's Sky are both running efficiently now. I had to reload both, so it seems to be working. Wouldn't have been able to record this long otherwise. It's about the pullback, right? So which galaxy is next? Let's find out, shall we? Welcome to the next galaxy. And which galaxy could it be? Let's find out, shall we? Ooh, purple. How pretty. Welcome to the new galaxy, the Hilbert Dimension. Galaxy number two. So, what should happen now is we should end up in the middle of all this. With everything, like I said, busted up. Only thing we need to do is make it back to our ship at some point. We have enough materials on us to repair certain things. We don't have any wiring looms. So we're just going to have to make do with what we've got. What ugly planet did it put us on? Let's find out. Let's see, toxicity is 65.3. So, we know what we're dealing with. You notice there's no radar at the top. Nope, scanner might be working. Jetpack is not going to be working. It says it's online, but I don't think it is. The good news is, the ship should be directly in front of us, about 500 or so units away. So as you can see, everything in your ship is damaged, everything in your multi-tool is damaged. We need a carbon nanotube, we need some ferrite dust, we'll go ahead and get the ferrite dust put in here already. Let's build a carbon nanotube. We had just enough to make it. There we go. And can we fix our mining beam? Yes, we can. Anything else? No? Don't think we can repair another stinking thing in here. Okay, good. Exosuit, how we doing? Yep. We need too much to fix all this stuff. Okay. Let's go. And there's our ship. 
So all we're going to do is we're just going to make it to the ship, folks, and we're going to hit it. We're going to save the game right there. There we go. A little bit of extra sodium just to recharge if we have to. Because remember, we're out of batteries. Now the thing is, even though those certain components are damaged, they still work somehow. Nobody knows. It's a mystery. But they work. Oh. There we go. And there's our wonderful ship, damaged beyond belief. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a restore point. That means we are done. Thank you all for watching. This has been Alon Paul. Hit the like and subscribe, folks. I hope you've enjoyed watching this, or at least listening to it in your off time. I know it was a very long video, but had to at least do it one time. Okay, guys? Thank you very much again for watching. There's the wave. We'll see you again next time. Take care, everybody.